Hi, my name is Paul Norris. I'm an attorney of Stark & Stark and I practice in probate litigation. Today we're going to be talking about pitfalls as an executor of an estate that you want to try to avoid. Now typically, most people who become an executor of the estate, it's the first time that they've done so. There may be somebody who's been an executor of more than one estate, but typically it's, it's a first time thing for most people. So there are some pitfalls that you should try to avoid in administering an estate. The first major pitfall to avoid is to make sure that the will is properly admitted to probate. And what that entails is bringing a copy of the last will and testament, the death certificate, and bringing it to the county surrogate. And what the county surrogate will do at this point, they'll issue what they call letters testamentary. The next thing you need to do is you need to serve notice upon all potential heirs of the estate as well as all beneficiaries under a will. And where this is where people make the mistake is that although a will has individuals listed under it, some executors think they only need to notify those individuals listed in the will. However, there are potential heirs of an estate which will have to be notified regardless of whether they're listed in the will. And let me give you an example. If, let's say, for instance, my mother just didn't get along with me during the last 10 years of her life, and she decided not to put me in her will, and instead just listed my two sisters. well. At the time of probate, the executor of the estate would still have to provide notice to me that the will's been admitted to probate, even though I wasn't listed in the will. So that's an example where people make a mistake. So the people who must be noticed are not only the beneficiaries under the will, the potential heirs of the estate, and that's defined within the statute as to what they constitute. Another important task that the executor should do, and should do it as early as possible, is to open an estate account. Executors may make the mistake of trying to utilize their own account as an estate account and can mingle funds. And this is a major no-no. Very recently I saw an executrix removed for that very fact that she had utilized her own account and had siphoned uh, estate funds through it. Even if she didn't do anything wrong, the fact that she commingled funds uh, created an aura of suspicion and the court removed her for that very reason. So the commingling of assets is a major problem, so you should always open an estate account do very careful to do that. Prior to making any distributions under an estate, it's very important, and this is something as an executor where you could become personally liable, to make sure that all state and federal taxes have been paid before distributions are made. If distributions are made before state and federal taxes are paid, the state and federal government will look to you to rectify the situation. And that may mean you may have to get funds back from beneficiaries of the estate. And ultimately, if you have a problem with that, you're the one that's on the hook for that. And that's why it's very important to avoid that pitfall and make sure taxes are properly filed, the estate has taxes are properly paid to avoid that major pitfall. Another issue uh, which you want to avoid as an executor of the estate involves record keeping. And this becomes extremely important. If a potential beneficiary of the estate uh, during the administration process questions as to expenses might have been paid on behalf of the estate, uh, expenditures from the estate account, it's crucially important that you keep these good records. Because if you do not have the records and you are challenged, you can be assured that the court is most likely going to rule against you if you don't have substantiation for these expenses. So as an executor or executrix, it's very important that you maintain meticulous records. What I often suggest to executors, create a notebook. Keep copies of canceled checks on one side, receipts on the other, or staple them together. Keep these meticulous records. Even if you don't anticipate anything ever going wrong, ultimately, if it does, then you have a very good accounting which you can provide. So what I've discussed is just a list of common pitfalls that executors make. There are, of course, many more that can be made, such as failing to timely administer a will, sitting on a piece of property, not listing it for sale, causing the estate to incur additional unnecessary expenses. But these are kind of the main pitfalls that I've seen executors make that could have been easily avoided. And for these reasons, it's suggested that if you're an executor or executrix of the estate, that you consult with an attorney who has experience who can guide you through this complex process. Because the last thing you want to be do is found individually liable to the state or federal government. So thank you for your time, and I hope this has been useful.